a garden to help feed the whole school. We connect kids to their food. Something from nature. It means a lot. I want you guys to come up here, take a look at the board, and then sign up your name where you want to work in. Does everybody understand? Okay, we're going to have to synergize. That means everybody's going to have to come together so we can get this We working. have um, culinary arts and gardening class. We always start by growing our own food, and then we take it up into our culinary classroom, and we cook our food. And sometimes we do, on a beautiful day like this, we would be cooking in the garden. The kids in the after school program are so excited to be here when their parents come to pick them up, they don't want to leave. In the past three years, in partnership with the school, this culture centered around environmental learning, nutrition, gardening education has really infused a lot of energy and excitement around you know, what can be done in the garden. 40% of our children are um, homeless, and so we are also impacted with food insecurity where our Almost 100% of our kids are on free and reduced lunch. At our school, we're unique. We have free breakfast, free lunch, and now free dinner. And also, we have a backpack program, so kids can have non-perishable items go home in a backpack, so they can make it over the weekends. This whole area used to be historic of uh, Fourth Ward. You can't really see any of that anymore. You don't want them a little tiny, right? Because they still have to grow. But the more we start harvesting these, the more they'll come back. So if we don't, the plant will think, oh, my job is over. I know that they'll be healthier. I know that they'll, they'll be more in tune to, to nature, and more, in, more into passing this down to their own children. So we're building kids that are choosing wisely what they eat. We're creating that culture, the, the look in their eyes and how excited they are and you can't get them away from the bush, <laughs> but it's, it just means so much to me as, as an adult, as a teacher, uh, to see them enjoy something in life like that. We are madly planting all of the wonderful greens that we can grow in our Gulf Coast climate. So basically from October to April, we can grow all of our greens, collard greens, mustard greens. To garden organically, we're recreating systems in nature. So at the front of the garden, at the entryway, we have our little edible forest pollinator garden. And this is our butterfly garden. So right now we have lots of Gulf Coast frillary butterflies. Just the excitement and wonder of seeing butterflies in the garden is now there and they're sharing in that. I'm extremely interested in letting this new generation understand where their food comes from. It doesn't come from a grocery store. It's not in a package. It's not from a convenience store. It came from somebody putting a lot of love and attention and care into raising this product for you. So the kids come every Wednesday all day long through the culinary arts program and the partnership with Urban Harvest of hands-on gardening and growing in the garden. And we also do a lot of parent hands-on training. First Digitech, we had 160 kids, parents, community show up. We were turning over the garden. Uh, we had uh, babies running through the garden. We even have kids come to the garden because their parents work and they come and garden. We have extremely dedicated kids who they get up and they walk to the school so they can be part of that day. There was, there was so much togetherness. Okay, we've got to be doing the work that the next, the seventh generation will need from now. And so we are growing leadership in the garden. Um, our future leaders need this background knowledge to make decisions you know, as our future leaders and for their children and their children. And so that is really what drives me and keeps me going. The garden means a lot to us. It means a lot to the, um, the, to the community as well as to the kids in the school. 